Good evening, everybody. We are the Ukulele Orchestra of Great Britain. Thank you. And before us, we are an orchestra. Uh, our first piece of music on the program is a piece of light classical, The Devil's Gallop, written by Charles Williams. And uh, it's all, all true. And it was actually made famous quite a, well, a long while ago, because I didn't hear it on the radio. I heard it on the wireless. <laughs> and it was made famous because it was the theme tune for Dick Barton, Special Agent. <laughs> Actually, I've actually noticed, to look at my wrists, I'm actually at two festivals at the same time. Uh, because I'm, besides playing here, I'm also playing at the Small World Festival with the Worldwide Welks Blues Band, playing there on Thursday and then on Monday. And uh, I said to them I was coming to this festival, and they said, as usual, they said, uh, is it Shrewsbury or is it Shrewsbury? And I said, I, I, said, I don't get involved, I just say Telford. And I, actually, I would like to say, there must be some, I actually met my wife in Telford. Yeah, yeah. I said, what are you doing here? I thought you were at home in South East London. <laughs> anyway. And just to cheer you up, I expect you know that uh, on the day that we played uh, at the uh, Queen's birthday party, uh, met lots of princes, uh, Prince himself died. So, that's sad, isn't it? But, this is a good song. Don't have to talk dirty 
good time. Oh, yeah. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. Ain't no particular sign. I'm compatible with I just want your extra time. indeed now people people often ask me why I play the ukulele and uh, this is a question I often ask myself but I always I will always remind them of the wise wise words of Lady Gaga and that's baby I was born this way Yeah, and the 
thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's a really good opportunity for me to introduce the orchestra formally. Hester? Yes, dear. That one on the end is Dave. Oh. He's nice. He is on nice. with the show. No. I'm sure you think, looking at us all up here on stage, that we're a bunch of nice, kind, good-hearted people, that you would be very wrong. <laughs> we're no good. One, two, three, four. No good. Do you want to talk about this next one, Hester? I, I certainly do, yes. This, uh, 
We'd like to do one now, which we've been doing for quite a long time. Um, it's one that we started doing, um, well, probably back in the early noughties, when we started doing the rural touring circuit. And just before that, we'd been doing these, these gigs in London. And then we went out into the, uh, well, into the countryside and played these little village halls. And some of the tunes, that, the songs that we've been playing in London, in these sort of hip little venues and stuff, suddenly felt slightly inappropriate, occasionally. And we found that they would change slightly over the time that we were doing these rural touring uh, gigs, these village halls. And this is a, a good example of it. Um, perhaps I should set the scene. You drive up to um, a village hall in the middle of nowhere, uh, knock on the door, and it would be opened by a, um, a very small lady, um, generally called Marjorie. And um, any Marjorie? She, any Marjorie's in? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and uh, she'd be holding a humongous teapot, and she'd say, "Do come over this way. Um, we've got some uh, snacks for you by the stage." And there'd be two trestle tables covered with sandwiches, crisps, um, cake, and rolls, and any, everything you can imagine, snack-wise. Um, so we. I'm just setting the scene for you, and, and we also grew slightly large during this time. So, let's do it. One, two, three, four. This is for Marjorie. Yes. 
sausage rolls. Cakes and buns and 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 sausage rolls. They're very good indeed. Dave, tell us about the next one. Oh, this next one is at this time we usually play the blues, uh, but we don't play the American 12 bar blues. No, 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 no. We actually play the slightly longer and infinitely more tedious 23-bar English blues. And um, this uh, comes from an area of London called uh, Limehouse, and it's called the Limehouse Blues. And uh, we'll be playing this because it's very, very slow, very, very boring. Uh, Lisa, is there anything yes. else to say? Yes, there is, Dave. Oh, there's a special instrument. There is a special yes, instrument and member of the orchestra to introduce now the youngest member and the oh. slimmest member. Oh. Here she is. Yeah. Um, the technical name for this size of instrument for all you interested people is a fridge magnet. <laughs> and it sounds like one. I'll try and slip it in later, into the show. <laughs> Someone count the next one in quickly. Very slow. Not slow, slow. slow. One, two, one, two, Thank you very, very much. How, how very nice. Um, now, folks, I am feeling a little bit sad this evening because, unfortunately, my girlfriend has left me. 
My wife is delighted. Um, she's got the spare room back. Uh, she's very pleased about that, but I'm, I'm sad. And uh, I'm going to sing a sad lament now, uh, lonesome, lonely tune. Yeah, well, um, you, look, just, just sit down, be calm, yeah. centre yourself, yeah. and feel our love. Thank you, Dave. That was lovely. Yeah. I will. And I will also play the song. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, A one, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Well, I can see in the crowd that there are one or two people with beards. <coughs> we must be at a folk festival. And this is a song in celebration of the beard in many ways. So if you have a beard in this next number, please swing it. <laughs> and if you don't have a beard, just reach out and swing someone else's. <laughs> it's an old Texan love song, but we're gonna sing it in English. <laughs> Give me all your love in Shrewsbury. <laughs> One, two,
especially you guys in the mosh pit. You crazy individuals. And as for you guys on the seats, oh boy, I want to see you swing those beards. But first, let me introduce the orchestra formally. On bass, ukulele, Dave Such. Bowie, Bowie. I'm drunk. Laura Curry on ukulele. And Dave Bowie on bass, guitar. Lisa Ray on ukulele. Ewan Wardrop on ukulele. Ben Rouse on ukulele. Mr. Goodman on ukulele. And Sir David Such on ukulele. what I call entertainment. Thank you very much. Well, now we'd like to sing a song about, uh, well, those people who are just approaching the time when they can grow a beard. <laughs> Any teenagers out there? Yes. Woo! <laughs> Fantastic. This one's for you. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, a folk song, actually. Um, about a female teenage ukulele player. And it's for my daughter, Kizzy, who um, I'm looking forward to when she's a teenager. No, you're not. <laughs> In a few years' time. How many teenagers did it take to change a light bulb? Doesn't matter, they won't do it. <laughs> Sorry, Hester. I got gym class in half an hour Oh, how she rocks in bed and tube socks But she doesn't know who I am And she doesn't give a damn about me Cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby
fake My lip starts to shake But how does she know who I am? And why does she give a damn about I've got two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby Come with me Friday, bring your ukulele I'm just a teenage dad Scottish member of the orchestra, I feel like it's my job to bring some culture to the group. So here's a song by an Italian. lots of different sorts of festivals, lots of different sorts of things. We once played for the Twinings Tea Company. There are other are teas available. The Twinings Tea Company at their uh, tea party for their employees. They have that every year. And uh, so we said, fine, that's fine. And they said, they really wanted this song. 
We didn't really know why they wanted this song, but they said, we want this song because we, as the Twinings Tea Company, really like the second verse. Now, if any of you spot any reason why the Twinings Tea Company might like the second verse, then please either jot it down on a postcard or email it to King Gustav of Norway because we don't care at all. <laughs> uh, however, another thing, this song is a, it's an English song, but it was written, I think, in uh, New York when they were hearing a lot of Latin, Latin a lot of... Um, uh, Spanish being spoken and uh, so they uh, actually wrote the backing vocals in Spanish and of course I can't speak Spanish so I just changed the words in the traditional folk tradition to uh, English words that sounded like the Spanish and those are I've got eels for my supper skate and scallops bread and butter I've got eels for my supper so if you'd like to sing that along in the appropriate time please do thank you for your interest <coughs> One, two, three, four. Darling, you've got to let me know. Or should we stay or should we go? Because if we say that you are fine, we'll love you till the end of time. So come on. Should I stay or should I go? It's always tease, tease, tease Darling, you got me on my knees One day it's fine and then it's not So if you want us off the plot So come on, let me know or Should I stay or should I go? Or should I stay or should I go now? Should I stay or should I go now? Well, if I stay, there will be trouble. Whoa, 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 whoa. If I go, it will be trouble. So come on, let me know. Should I stay or should I go? Decisions bugging me. This indecision made my last go. Exactly who I'm supposed to be. Where is John T? She is his I don't know what you had for tea. We have never traveled far. I don't know which clothes even fit me. We don't even own a car. So come on, let me know. Or should I stay or should I go? Or should I stay or should I go now? I've got eels for my supper. Should I stay or should I go now? Well, if I stay there, we'll be traveling I'm going, we'll be traveling I've got eels for my supper So come on, let me know Should I stay or should I go? That's our David. He's great, isn't he? He is. It was a beautiful song, beautifully sung. And now for something completely different. Um, I can't remember what I say about this one. I can't remember. What do I say about this? You're a dreamer. Full of vitamin C, isn't it? Oh, yeah, lots of old rubbish. <coughs> Rubbishy jokes I've told over the years. Well, I'll just say it's um, yeah, it's it's a song by the Cranberries. That's not a joke. Um, it's an Irish song, but we'll be singing it in English. Um, yeah, and it's for all you, it's for all you lovers out there. It won't last. No.
stuff. Now, uh, are there any fans of country music in this evening? I haven't told you which country yet. It's America. And we're going to play a piece of bluegrass music, in fact, for you next. And uh, yeah, we certainly are. And and chaps, I was going to ask, I'm feeling a little bit stiff um, sat here all evening. My shoulders are tense. My back's tight. And I wondered if during this next number I might just be able to get up and, and have a stretch of my limbs a bit. So just don't draw any attention to yourself. Yeah. Maybe Keep it very oh. low key. Oh, yeah, no, no, of course, yes, yeah. Doing yeah. the solo or something. During the solo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. It's fine. Thank you. And the fox hunt of roses horn I fell in love with a girl from town She swore she would always be true I ran away to Charlottesville And worked in a song or two What have they done to the old old place? Why did they tear it down? Plowing the field and looking for a job in the town. 
operatives will be with you shortly. <laughs> uh, we're just looking at the time, ladies and gentlemen, because oh. it is getting quite late now. Oh. And, uh, Are you thinking that maybe... We would love to do a couple time. more for you, but I, I'm not sure whether we have time for two. So we might have to just finish on one. Yeah, let's do that. Right? Right? Okay, well, let's do this one. We do have to do it. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> let's do this, this one quick. <laughs> Do that other one. All right, okay. let's do okay, it. Come on. It. All right, all right. Well, if we get into trouble, it's your fault. <laughs> You've been a fantastic audience, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wonderful audience. <laughs> so far. <clears throat> Please use your lighters during this one. I'm nothing special. In fact, I'm a bit of a bore. It's not true. If I tell a joke, you've probably heard it before. But I have a talent, a wonderful thing. Cause everyone listens when I start to sing I am so grateful and proud <laughs> All I want is to sing it out loud So I say thank you for the music The songs I'm singing Thanks for all the joy Dancer before I could walk. Ooh, she said I began to sing long before I could talk. And I've often wondered how did it all start? Found out that nothing can capture a heart like a melody. Without it. 
I am the girl with the golden hair. She wants to sing it out to everybody. What a joy, what a life, what a chance. Thank you for the music. music and I was going to say loads but we've only got enough time to go straight into the last song otherwise we won't do it at all let's go into it now One, two, three.
Yeah, um, you can't get out that way. Thank you so much. You've been an amazing crowd. And we want to, you know, thank you for coming here. You could have gone to see the other band, couldn't you? <laughs> we were a bit worried, actually. But it's great to see so many of you here. And um, just a huge thanks to everyone who makes this festival possible. Um, but especially... Uh, the person who makes um, our sound possible. Not only the local team, but our own sound engineer, Doug Beveridge. Big love to him. Thank you for your long service.
expecting you, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Ha, she's up to 